welcome to Fit by Angela Studio and to your daily movement. I am so, so excited to welcome you here and I'm so happy that you have found your way to my class. A little tip to take away immediately at the beginning of the class. I always tell that to my friends, family, my clients. Try to get a movement in every single day. It doesn't matter how long or short it is. It can be walking, it can be yoga, pilates, anything that you love to do that keeps your body active or it can be coming to my class every single day for just as little as 20 or 30 minutes a day and it will make a huge impact in your life. Second little tip that will enormously change your lifestyle and your fitness goals is prioritizing your exercising first thing in the morning. It will kickstart your day in a completely different way once you get your workout in and you will start burning your calories immediately at the beginning of the day and trust me, you will enjoy that first meal of the day way more once you have done your workout of the day. And before we begin with the workout, I just wanted to let you know that this video is going to be just a taste of what you have available in Fit by Angela Studio. So definitely make sure to create a seven day free trial after this video so you can try the entire studio for free for seven days and make up your mind from there if you want to join me on this wellness journey. And without further ado, let's begin with our daily movement. Today, as mentioned, is going to be upper body and ab targeted workout, really getting into the deeper muscle layers with Pilates inspired exercises and making sure that we are stretching out and opening up our body for the day. So let's just begin here by rotating our shoulders. Really inhale, open your chest proud. Exhale, bring your chest in. Inhale. Exhale. One more time like this. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Shake off the shoulders. Your feet are shoulder width apart. And let's just gently now grab onto our ear and gently pull our, on our neck, opening up all the section on your right side. You can rotate your neck a little bit, feel any tensions. You can reach out your arm like so, so you're feeling even a deeper stretch. And when you're ready, slowly release and switching to the other step direction, same thing. You can again extend out your arm. Keep breathing. Beautiful. And slowly, slowly extend. From here, we're gonna go for our plank walkout. So raise your arms above your head. We're going for five times. Curl all the way in from here, down. Legs are straight. Come to your plank. Hold it here for a second. And all the way up. Vertebra by vertebra. Rolling yourself back up. Same thing. Four more times, going all the way down. Nice stretch to your hamstrings. Holding a plank, core is nice and strong. And coming up again. Three more times. Beautiful. Really warming up the entire body, our midsection, our glutes. And keep breathing. And one last time, all the way down to the plank. Hold it here. And come back up. Beautiful. Now with your next inhale, come all the way down to your plank and we are going to hold it here for a moment, just holding the plank. Make 
make sure that your core is nice and strong. Belly button is tucked in. The entire body is working and just keep breathing. Three more inhales. One last deep inhale and exhale. Beautiful. Come to your old horse from here. And from here, let's open up that midsection. Deep inhale and exhale. Exhale, round your back. Exhale, everything out. Inhale. Exhale, everything out. Beautiful. Come with your neutral back position. And from here, let's tuck those toes under, keeping the knees low. Core is nice and strong, not arching our back, pulling your belly button in. And we're just gonna go from here, squeezing your shoulder blades. Down and up. Down. Really making sure to squeeze those blade, shoulder blades in. And all the way up. Opening up the shoulders. In and up. Two more here. One last one. Beautiful. Keeping that position, not lowering. And we're just going to pull those knees on the floor for 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And holding here, not letting it drop. Holding it for a couple of seconds. More last inhales and exhales. Beautiful. Let those knees drop. From here, lengthen out your left leg and right arm. Just like so. And bringing that arm aside of you. Just like this. And from here, we're going to reach that arm all the way across the body and back up and that left leg is staying up the entire time we're going for nine keep breathing normally eight seven six five are working, upper body is working, core is tight, three, two, and going for the last one, last one, beautiful, release that arm on the floor, leg stays lifted just from here, and we are going for some push-ups, ten push-ups, ten, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Now release that leg. Come to a child pose for a moment. Couple of deep inhales and exhales. Beautiful. And coming back up, doing the same thing on the opposite side now. Right leg goes up, extended. Left arm goes extended the side of you. And going again, threading the needle. Ten. Nine. Keeping a nice balance here. Eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two. Beautiful. Release that arm on the floor again, keeping that leg nicely up. Glute is engaging, thighs are engaging, and going for 10 push ups. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. Let that leg come on the floor. Come to your child's pose. One more inhale and exhale. Deep inhale and exhale. And as you exhale, and you come up to your plank position. Just from here, come all the way to your plank and staying on a nice strong plank. Belly button is tucked in hips are forward and we're just gonna step in those legs alternating kicking the knee to the front really engaging the lower abs and your core let's go six more on the other sides five Four, three, two, one, and time. Beautiful. Let that knee come on the floor. Going for a child's pose for a moment. From here, we're gonna go for our high blank. Come on your high blank, just like so. All the way up, and we're gonna pull down a lot for 10 times. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Face is either looking forward or up, four, Three, two, one, and switching to the other direction immediately. All the way other direction, same thing. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, beautiful. Coming all the way down. Now come down to your mermaid pose where your front leg is bent in front of you and the back leg is bent behind you. And from here, we're just gonna raise our arms up and come all the way to the side, opening the chest, opening all the side of your body and switching to the other side. Same thing. Beautiful. Switch up those legs. Now the other one comes front, put it goes back and doing the same thing all the way down. If you can put your elbow down. And switching to the other side. Beautiful. Let's come on the floor and start with some ab exercises. Just on your back. Just from here. Let your legs come on the floor. Your midsection is nice and strong. Back is on the floor. 
and we're gonna move our arms behind you, touching your shoulders, and we're just going for 10 repetitions of crunches. So crunch all the way up, your upper body comes off the floor, and down. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Beautiful. Skipping those arms here and going now 10 times the opposite direction. So we're going to squeeze to the side and other side. Nine. Eight. Seven. Make sure that your elbow is touching the floor. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And last one. Beautiful. Rest your upper body on the floor. Legs come to tabletop position. Nine, not beautiful 90 degree angle if you have to. Stop your um, knees with your arms and we are gonna go alternating 10 times on both sides. Down, up. Nine, upper body is lifted off the floor. Face is looking at the ceiling. Seven, core is engaged, back is flat on the floor. Six, five, four, three, two, and last one on both sides. Beautiful. Let that upper body drop on the floor. Legs are staying here. Take a little breather and come immediately all the way up and we are going for our dead, dead bug position. So you're extending out your arm, opposite arm and opposite leg. So you're going out, in and opposite. Out, in. Ten times like that. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Bring those knees in for a second. Hug them in. Rest your upper body on the floor. And coming all the way up again immediately. Arms again behind your neck, supporting your neck, not pulling on your neck core is nice and strong and we are going alternating bicycles so one back two beautiful beautiful five more on each side four Three, two, last one, beautiful, bring those knees in, upper body relaxed on the floor and from here we're gonna go to our last ab exercise. Either you can keep your legs just like so if you want to challenge yourself a little bit Bring them extended out and as low as you can. And we're just gonna hold it here for 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time, beautiful. Hug those knees in. Little breather, deep inhale and exhale. And we're gonna move to our tummy now. Come all the way to your tummy, just from here. And we're gonna go for our back extensions. So the first exercise, legs are staying on the floor. 
shoulder width apart, nicely grounded on the floor, and we're gonna just lift up our upper body, arms are extended above you, and squeeze in. And out. 10, 9, 8, 7, Five, four, three, two. With the last one, we are staying in the position. One, and we're gonna extend just like so, all the way out. Your shoulders are nicely out. Your chest is nice and proud. And we're just gonna stay here, and we're gonna kick our arms back just like so for 20 times Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. time beautiful bring those arms all the way supporting your neck just take a moment of breather here Beautiful, and come all the way up. This time your are, your legs are up as well, squeezing your glutes, and we're gonna go from here. Out, in, opening up arms and legs, and in. Six, five, four, Three, two, one. Beautiful. Come all the way up to child's pose. Take a little breather. Beautiful. And from here, we're gonna go for our push-ups. Feel free to do push-ups on your knees. So make sure to just fix your position first. Your shoulders are away from your ears. Your core is nice and strong, tucked. Hips are forward and we are going down and lifting that arm up. Another one. Down, opposite arm. And 10. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one last one. Ooh, beautiful. Come down to your Back again, and we're gonna go for some ab rolls. So from here, we're gonna go vertical by, by vertical. Keep your legs a little bent, arms above your head, and we're gonna go vertical by, by vertical, rolling ourselves up slowly, all the way up, and slowly, slowly down for ten times. Nine. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, 
slowly. Two. And one last one. One. Beautiful. Staying up here on a seated position. Keep your body quite low. Core is engaged, nice and strong. Back is beautifully lengthened out, and we're gonna go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Beautiful job, guys. Let's give a nice little stretch to ourselves and we are done with today's workout. Come to your um, upward facing dog position, coming down and up. Going again down. Give me five times like this. Four, really stretching out everything, shoulders away from the ears. Last one, beautiful. From here, moving to our child's pose. Come all the way down to your child. Really let go of everything and shift your weight by moving your arms to one, from one side to another. Really stretching out all the entire side of your body. And with your next inhale, move to the other side. Beautiful. Come down, lie on your back, and place your arms on a cactus position, like so, like a W. And from here, bring out your right leg and cross it all the side of your body, giving a nice stretch to our spine. Just stay here, try to keep those arms and shoulders on the floor. One more deep inhale and exhale. Beautiful. And release your leg on the floor and doing the same thing on the other side. Extend your arms far, far above you and your toes are pointed. Nice deep stretch to yourself. And arms come aside of you, palms facing upwards. One deep inhale. And exhale. And come on your side, on your left side. And just push yourself up. Thank you so much for joining me for our very easy and relaxing daily movement. Just 20 minutes is all you need to kickstart your day. I hope that I will see you in our next class. Until then, have a beautiful day.